Hi, welcome to Mr. H Makes. I'm Mr. H and this week I'll be taking you through a quick work in progress for my latest uh, project for the iClone contest. Uh, this one's called Shamalama and yeah, let's get going. So I started with the bass tune and I changed the skin color uh, to give it a bit of a hybrid effect I also added some digital skin uh, and I'll put the links to all, all the stuff that I used down below after I'm happy with the skin I check the facial poses just to make sure bits aren't sticking out where they shouldn't be and yeah I do it with the edit facial modification uh, mess around with the eyes I like giving it a kind of real look and I then added some hair which I got from the the Reillusion stall the marketplace again links will be below I wanted this character to have a wacky great big afro And I also went back and twiddled around with his nose a bit. Um, I tend to buzz back and forth between different things, which I cleanse quite happy to allow. Um, yep, I also added a obviously added a suit from the men's suits by Pixlab. And like the face, I also check the clothing with, with poses to make sure everything is in the right place and not, not sticking out for the poses that I'm going to be using. I also went back and changed the color of his skin. I lighted it a bit more. And I hid the meshes that weren't going to be seen. Obviously the shirt is under a jacket so I use the edit mesh modification uh, tab and just painted out what I didn't need. And then went to customizing the eyebrows. I actually made a mistake here. Um, I should have done all this before I applied digital skin because I actually applied uh, some oil on his face which kind of shows up weirdly uh, so I also had to uh, do the same for the normals um, get rid of the eyebrows you can kind of see that the oily patch I was talking about it, it looks weird um, but I figured that I was going to put the eyebrows over those anyway um, so I wasn't too fussy about that and anyway I can always come back and, and fix that if it still looks a bit weird but it, it's kind of okay for this character uh, then I tried messing around with the hair trying to get rid of that sort of black skull cap he's got there and I eventually found that just by rotating it, it seemed to be acceptable Then I went over to Actacore to find a suitable base animation and obviously applied it and it's I wanted something that was quite relaxed because you know he's a relaxed character so I unfortunately did not pay attention and I didn't get a looping animation so um, there's a bit of foot sliding which I had to fix up um, which is easy enough you just align one of the legs whichever one is better um, but what it did mean is that the character didn't return to the central pose he originally started in which became a bit of a problem later on I actually tried the text-to-speech editor just for fun uh, but it did 
not really achieve the desired effect. So I went to the tried and tested Aculips and recorded my voice singing uh, the song. And I won't torture you with that, but uh, that, that was the best way to do it. Um, sometimes I would do this with iPhone Live Link, and, but in this case I just thought I would stick with Aculips. And then I tidied that up, uh, selecting various bits of text and correcting them, aligning them. And then uh, when you apply, it gets spat out into your Visine track. And you can further play around with stuff there. In this case, I was messing around with the animation and my slight problem was that I had to reverse clips because otherwise when I added a camera he would he would generally wander off screen um, so that also later caused me some issues and here I just have him looking at the camera making him a bit happier since you know he's a happy singer and did that through face key so yeah you see a bit of his bounce back there the sliding issue which I had to align the feet I wasn't overly concerned with lining everything up because I had always planned to make this a kind of a close up mid shot, not really seeing his feet too much. So the next part of my workflows, I went into the lips editor and actually messed around with the phonemes and then started doing some of the body movements. Um, I love using Direct Puppet, but in this case, I had this issue where it would just massacre the clips. And it took me a little while to work it out and it was like a really simple solution. But uh, yeah, it caused me a few headaches. And I'll tell you the solution in a bit. Well, actually, it's just all you have to do is merge the clips, and then yeah, you can you can muck around using this very uh, organic way of of puppeteering puppeteering your character. But unfortunately, in this case, I only really worked it out at the end of the project, and I spent most of the time. Uh, doing it with the uh, motion layer, edit motion layer interface, which which is fine, but to be honest, it's not as fun as doing the actual puppeting. But um, yeah, I decided to push on, and it turned out okay. So I, I will save more digital puppeteering for another project. Then went into face key where I just tweaked some things like eye blinks. I uh, usually do this towards the end of the, the session to fine tune stuff. And then I use the hand gestures plugin, which is uh, hand gestures puppeteering rather, which is free, link below. And it allows you to select your your hand positions and i just basically ran through the whole clip changing the hands as i went along and it was actually because of this plugin uh, it automatically merged clips for me on the timeline that i realized the mistake i'd made earlier so yes merge your clips um, to avoid this sort of thing if you are reversing and, and doing all that sort of stuff i noticed 
at this stage that there was a bit of a poke through going on. You can see that sort of black spot on his cheek. So I just altered the volume strength. I could have sent it over to character creator and, and fixed the mesh, but I was feeling a bit lazy. So on reflection, I probably should have. Um, but uh, yeah, next project. Uh, then I use the face puppet to give him some nose wrinkles and smaller details. Face key is great for tweaking uh, mouth shapes like your M's and your B, B's and P's because uh, sometimes that doesn't quite come through the way where you might. And I think if you bump up your your visemes and expressions at the beginning, you can see your expressiveness, uh, you which begins at 100, you can dial it back easily. So yeah, the mouth, you're getting tight for whatever I'm doing there. And I set about lighting in iClan. Um, to be honest, I don't know a lot about lighting in iClan and I probably should have used one of the templates. Um, but I was giving it a bit of a go. I'm using a, a sort of glowing square to get that shine in his eyes, that little square reflection, which gives it a bit more depth. But I am more um, inclined to take it out into uh, Unreal because I'm a bit more familiar with lighting in that and I, I quite like the effects and I'm just used to having that in my workflow so I uh, exported an FBX I, I didn't do live link I just uh, exported out the FBX and imported it to Unreal and stuck him in there, put in a bit of atmospherics and, and obviously the, the lights. And I brought in the microphone, the same one that I used in iClone. Uh, that's from Sketchfab. I'll stick a link below as well for that. And I just connected up the materials. And it's pretty easy to figure out which slots they're supposed to be connected in because they're all named the right way. And you have to apply it to make the material visible. Yeah, so this guy is kind of 70s disco star. So you gotta have a proper retro mic. So I'm just checking out the different angles, blocking the camera where I want it to be. And then it's over to DaVinci Resolve where I cut it together and I used uh, cross dissolve uh, very 70s style and that was pretty much it oh yeah I forgot I wasn't very happy with the hair in the end because it wasn't picking up the light and I think that's probably due to a mistake I might have made at the beginning with the material of the afro so rather than go back I thought I used the opportunity to experiment with uh, one of the grooms one of the alembic grooms and I quite like the effects so I kept it so I got this 
crazy 70s dude uh, singing a cool song and I hope you like it I will link to it at the end of this video but in the meantime if you've learned anything please consider doing the liking and the subscribing thing I uh, would appreciate it very much Otherwise, you've been watching Mr. H Makes. I'm Mr. H signing off, wishing you a great week ahead, and I'll see you the next time.